grew up on the other side of the tracks and as a kid down in Rutland. And, uh, and we used to move every time the rent was due. So as a kid, when someone gave me the teddy bear or the little red wagon, I really never got attached to it, knowing full well that within a period of time we would probably be moving and there would be no room in the van or the car or the taxi or however we were traveling. One of the things that, that, that stayed with me is the fact that uh, this uh, thing about stuff, uh, and, and it's almost that same way with, with, with money. Bob and I, frankly, um, because we have a great lifestyle, we don't need anything greater, and we're very happy <laughs> to give away what's left over. Quite simply, we would not be here today without the incredible visionary support of two people, two of the pillars of our community. What we really are looking for are philanthropists who have vision and who um, share that vision with us. Holly and Bobby are amazing community examples of showing that it's all about giving back, establishing relationships, and making a difference because you believe in the care of a human being. The Medical Center's Palliative Care Program, a program that Holly has personally championed for the last 30 plus years. But we also have community members who know and value the role of nurses in our society, whether they're teaching in the college or taking care of patients in the clinics or nursing homes. Uh, nurses are everywhere, and so we find opportunity to engage all kinds of community members in discussions about how their philanthropy might impact the role of nursing education, research, and, and teaching. I've been really working hard for nursing, both as a career, 50 years, <laughs> believe it or not. At the same time, I've been working to raise money for scholarships. We've really got to get more nurses on the ground. How many times the last person you see in your life is a nurse, and you want the best possible person there? So the, an investment in education is so incredibly important because you want the best qualified person there caring for your loved one if it's the last person they're going to see. It just would be shameful if we couldn't have some really talented person who wanted to you know, pursue their lifelong dream of being a nurse because they were limited with their funding. So having those generous donors be able to support people like that who have the capacity, who have the drive and the will to be able to pursue their dream, I think that's what it's really about. My mom works right now currently as a librarian at our local school and my dad works in a granite shed. When we graduated from Twinfield to my high school, they actually handed us a piece of paper and where we had to draw what we wanted to be when we were older and I drew a nurse. So I guess indirectly I knew that I always wanted to be a nurse. So I came to UVM on a scholarship, it's called the Carol Greenbird Scholarship and she is my donor. I've actually formed a really good relationship with her over the past four years and I plan to keep her in my life for the rest of my life. Why people give is something that gets revealed pretty quickly. A lot of the reasons tend to be because they want to make a difference and they want to have impact. We help facilitate that experience for them here at the College of Nursing. We hope that, that we lead with, by example, and the McClure's are great mentors of ours. And you know, Mac had a, uh, had a saying that, uh, uh, give with warm hands, you give while you're alive, uh, so that you can see the good work that the money can do. And this happens to be the front entrance of the place. We got our chandeliers up yesterday. And you can shepherd it through and make sure that it goes the, the way you want it to go, to be spent the way you want it to be spent. We're all here for a purpose, and if we can give, and change a situation for people, um, make a difference in the community, then that's, that's what, I feel that's why we are here. Mm -hmm.